in our previous video we have created this section and in this part or in this uh, video i'm going to create the another section called make an appointment so please uh, note that uh, i haven't uploaded video uh, almost two months and um, within this month wordpress released another update which is uh, wordpress version 6.0.1 and make sure you are using the latest wordpress version for this video so now let's start making our page so first of all if you take a look at the design and uh, make sure there is uh, some change inside the latest wordpress version and i will show you exactly what kind of changes uh, is inside the editor and let's start so first of all you have to understand i'm going to create this section and i would like to take a um, it's called group so uh, for you can take group or section but i'm not going to use any background color as of now and that's why i'm going to use a group element or any uh, sections here so let's click over here and see what kind of sections we can use here so if we type here section there is no sections as of now in the latest version but if you type here group okay just click over here again and let's type a row here you can see the new widget called row and also uh, there is some other features that you can see later on when i'm going to create this section so let's type here you can directly take row here or you can start with a group so let's make it a simple i would like to start from group and inside group i'd like to add column so let's add two column here and make sure when i create any group here i have to select that group and change the width 1000 pixel because i'm using 1000 pixel on every single group here so when i select the above group here you can see i'm using 1000 pixel content width and here you can see also i'm using uh, 1000 well now let's add some content here so first of all i would like to add content let's take a look at our design heading so copy i am uh, using keyboard right now for copy and paste you can follow the same as well paste it here and also copy paste and make sure you have selected the heading and also if i click over here you can see at the right side it's a primary color and source serif pro and semi bold 48 pixel so i have already selected everything here so all i have to just change to semi bold and change the color text color to the primary color and now it's time to reduce our browser because i'm using a smaller screen here and let's let's click an update and see how it looks so it looks like this well and uh, inside the editor it looks different so if i reload here and see how it looks it looks different here but it doesn't matter create another section here but uh, you have to understand how the gutenberg works if you want to continue your journey with the wordpress now let's copy another content area and then uh, here you can see some other content area so if you take a look at closely we have already created this kind of sections in this section here the base services that we provide and we can simply copy that and paste it uh, inside our editor let me show you what i mean here so if i take a look at here you can see we have created this section previously and we can simply what we can do we can simply copy so we can simply select all of them from here and if you take a look at here you can see some options so you can change the type of block you can change uh, the group view you can change the row and this is the new features with the latest version so what i can do i am going to copy and 
and paste it here it looks like this and now if i go to our design the image at the left side and at the right side the heading and some content here let's take a look at here it's not the one that i'm going to use so what i can do please take a look at closely here so first of all if i open the column area you can see it it little bit different here all the paragraph and heading paragraph paragraph and heading right but i'm going to change them so how can i so first of all i have to click over here then take a row and inside the row i can insert image so let's add image and i can upload i have already uploaded the images so i'm going to use the location icon and click on the icon here and the icon size is 25 pixel select and it's 25 pixel by default and now if you click on the plus icon here you can add another information so what i'm going to do i'm going to copy the three is not necessary here i'm going to delete this one and then i'm going to make this group group and then i can copy after that i can click on the plus icon here please take a look at here on the left side list view it's very important you have to understand uh, where i'm going where i'm going to click or where i change things here now i'm going to click on paragraph and why i'm choosing paragraph here because i have copied something from the below and i'd like to paste it here so if i didn't choose paragraph i cannot paste here and i can simply right click and paste so as you can see what i did here so it's very important you have to understand them now i'm going to remove the below one it's not necessary at this moment well now if i take a look closely uh, and if i take a look at here you can see first i have created a row then inside a row i have added image on the left side and then create a group and inside the group i have added heading and paragraph well now let's make it uh, beautiful so first of all you have to understand uh, the text you have to copy that text from here it's 16 pixel let's paste and make it 16 pixel here well and then uh, copy another one from here and then make it you can simply change it and then uh, if i select our location here you can see the margin which, which is currently zero if i choose a uh, margin uh, or unlink here you can see it's a margin button and if i add zero it's currently margin zero if i click on update and reload the page let's take a look at our design so it looks like this but there is still a lot of gap here right so we have to understand from where the gap is coming from if i inspect here and see if i want to understand and debug from where the spacing is coming from the spacing is coming from the paragraph text because there is some uh, margin top so i have to remove that so what i can do if i select the paragraph and see if is there any options for margin there is no options as of now so what i can do i can simply convert this paragraph into heading because we all know that with the heading we have the options to change a uh, margin and other information so i'm going to use heading 6 as of now or heading 4 then i can change the font size from here to 16 pixel and after that i can also click on dimension and choose margin and add zero here as you can see there is no margin at the top right so if i click on update and reload the page it looks like this and it looks almost similar so there is a couple of things that you have to keep in your mind 
the font size is 16 pixel and there's still some gap between the heading and the paragraph so let's make it some spacing here so i'm going to unlink here and at the top i would like to add 10 pixel and see how it looks it looks pretty good here and i'm going to update this one uh, now i'm going to view the page now it's it's working and it looks perfect now if i just want to copy this one so i have to uh, make a group and i have to select all of them then i can simply duplicate so simply i can mark all of them uh, using the cursor here or the best way i can use the list view so if i open the list view here i can select all of them so if i select the row here and under the row there is another group it's not necessary i can remove that one and inside the row when i select the row i can simply copy or duplicate so when i duplicate here you can see it's simply duplicating here now i just copy the content from here and paste well it should be capital letter all of them email us and then the email address after that change the icon from here by clicking on the replace and i have already uploaded all the icon and images here click on update now if i reload the page it looks like this and it looks perfect now it's time to create this section or uh, this column here so it's a appointment uh, column and for this column i'm going to use a wp form plugin so let's install the wp form plugin to install the wp form i have to navigate to the plugins and then click on add new and uh, if you are not familiar with the wp form then uh, I will have a complete tutorial regarding the WP forms and you can follow that tutorial and in that tutorial I have uh, used WP form a free version and the pro version so you can uh, find the link into the video descriptions here or in the eye icon so let's click on install now and click activate Now let's take a look at our design so first uh, one is full name email phone number and book an appointment now let's create those field here go to our form dashboard and here you can see some other information so you can simply click on create your first form from here or you can navigate wp form and click on add new so now i'm going to click over here create your first form and now simply type your form name here and you can simply type here contact or you can add the name appointment form so i can type here appointment form and you can also choose a template if you want but if you do not want then no need to worry there's lots of template and you can choose any of them from here and I just added the appointment form here and after that you can choose any template or you can simply start with a blank form create blank form I'm going to create from scratch and now if I take a look at our design the first name email phone number it's very simple let's take a look at the standard fields here if I take a look at here the first one is name so I can use two box or I can change to only simple and I can change it here first name or I can use full name simply I can copy here or I can type and now the next one is email address add field drag and drop it here email address and after that phone number so currently if you take a look at here the phone number is the premium uh, version here as of now if we want to use the phone number you have to use text field and for 
text field you can use a single line text here and type here phone number so if you want to use proper formatting with the number then you have to use the pro version currently i'm using free version and if you want to record this one click on record now i have to change the submit button if i go to settings and here you can see the submit button text i have to change the submit button text to book an appointment i'm just selecting the text from here copy and then paste and click save you can simply click on embed there is a couple of different way that you can use the form you can use short code you can simply click on short code and copy the short code from here and i'm not going to use this one from here as of now and after that you can paste the short code here simply um, if i just click on this plus icon you can use or you can type here short code here you can see the short code block you can paste the short code here and it will be working if i click on update and reload the page so as you can see it's working right but if you do not want to use the short code there is another way so i'm going to delete this one okay so i have to duplicate and remove those content because i accidentally delayed the block from here so i can search here first of all i have to reload the page and i can simply search here wp form and here you can see wp form without uh, using a short code you can follow this way and choose your form that you have created and now as you can see it's displaying here so you can uh, see few options here with the WP form block editor. There is nothing uh, fancy and there is uh, just simple options to show title and descriptions, nothing else. Click on update and reload the page. Now it looks like this and it looks similar. So if you take a look at our design, there is some spacing at the top and bottom and also this text and this text are primary color. If you want you can change them i know you can and if i select the group element here and go to the block spacing uh, not the spacing i have to choose the margin here or padding it's selected i'd like to use 120 pixel at the top and at the bottom 100 pixel and see how it looks Now, if you take a look at this input field, these are small uh, field, right? It's not uh, full width. You can easily make them full width from the WP form editor. I'm going to click on fields and then name. Go to advanced. And here you can see the field size. I would like to make it large. And the same thing you have to follow for other field. Large. Click on save change and reload the page now the fields are displaying large and hopefully this video will be very helpful for you in our next part i'll be start working on the archive page and i'll be creating on uh, our blog page and also i'll be creating single post page if i go to our blog it looks like this it doesn't look good right so i'll be working on those page and i'll show you how you can create uh, other pages here so thank you so much for watching this video. Have a good day. Bye.